I need 1250 certified signatures, valid signatures of registered Republicans in the district. Does anyone here live in New York's District 3? Do you live in New York's District 3 right now? Anyone here live in New York's 3rd Congressional District? Any Long Island residents here? Because um, as we've said, to beat a liar, you have to use a liar. And Billy is our own in-house, homegrown George Santos. You know, yeah, Billy lied in the past, I guess, here and there, sure, but every politician does. So if, if anything, it's more points for his case. I don't want to do this. I have to for my generation, for the country, because it's a shit show. Hi, my name is Bill Cotter and I'm running for Congress in New York's first congressional district. At first, I assumed Billy had no chance. He was kind of running as a joke, but he seems to be taking it very seriously. He keeps mentioning like lawyers and campaign finance laws and stuff. So he's clearly looked into it. He's got a cool looking website. We're announcing today, Dave, that Billy is running for Congress in George Santos's district and you have firsthand experience. So I was hoping that you could walk us through your, uh, your bid for mayor and maybe we can learn some lessons from that. So you had to get signatures to get on the ballot. I raised money and hired uh, a agency that their main purpose was to get signatures. In order to be a valid signature, you had to live in the city that you were voting and you couldn't sign twice. So if another candidate got you, you theoretically didn't count. I turned in 30,000 signatures or whatever. Like this is a, th this is all they did, this company. They get signatures to get people on the ballot. And they basically could disqualify a signature by saying, A, they couldn't read it. B, the person signed twice. C, they weren't in the district as a registered voter. And there's no oversight. So if I needed 12,000, they basically came back and like, sorry, Dave, you got 11,500. Uh -huh. You can't be on the ballot. So I never made it to the ballot. I thought I could win, by the way. That sounds very crooked that they did that to you. Very crooked. And so unfair. crooked. I think he's got a shot. If there's a lot of stoolies in the district, which there might be, it's like Nassau County, Queens-ish. So it's actually not uh, as many as you think. It's only 1,200. So I'm planning a rally, not this weekend, but next weekend uh, out in Montauk. Um, where I think you you own land there, correct? Yeah, I do. Could I, you be maybe my first signature? Um, because if you well, own I'm not property- registered, I'm not a registered voter there. Is that the same rule? No, no, no. You just need to own property to have a signature, have an oh. address. Well, Bill, so, uh, Dave, I don't want to- I'm I, not asking I, you to endorse Wait, 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 okay. wait, wait, Billy, Billy, <laughs> let me step in. I, I, I advised Billy. I'm like his advisor. And he was like, maybe I should ask Dave for an endorsement. I was like, Billy, just tell Dave that you, you plan on earning his vote. I don't know. I yeah. I'm not, I can't just give it to you. I don't know anything about what you're running. Yeah, for. you have to earn his vote. Maybe maybe Miss Peaches could be the first signature. I don't know. So if you win, win, are you him. done here? I'm not done by any means. Um, I think I definitely uh, use my position to maybe uh, uh, help our best interests. But we first got to get there. And, I wouldn't uh, mind having you. You know, it would maybe help. Like if so, so, like if someone's doing construction too early near my house, can I call you if you're like be like shut that down? Uh, yes, um, I will be serving in the federal government, but I will have um, some sort of influence on state uh, and local uh, lawmakers. Hmm. Sweeten the pot for you, Dave. You're thinking. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I you can never, I guess, have enough people in your pocket. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. How are we? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I don't have a slogan yet. Oh, we <laughs> we need one. Oh, we gotta, we gotta come up with. One. Technically, I can't use corporate resources to to contribute to the campaign, so, so I'd have to pay you for it. I'd be okay with for that. the slogan? Yeah. Build yeah, that wall. Why is the only thing on Billy's clipboard ham sandwiches? No, no. Are you gonna be a suit twenty four seven guy now? No, just when I'm campaigning, it's. It's hard work. This is so much meat in that sandwich. We could have more meat in our sandwiches if inflation wasn't that big of a problem. Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> get with inflation! Billy Football reached out. He said, you know, is anyone in that district that can sign the petition for me to get on the ballot? And I said, yeah, Billy Football, I got you. We're gonna clean up this district. I need 1250 certified signatures, valid signatures of registered Republicans in the district. And the thing is, they'll probably throw out automatically just like half of them. So we have to get like close to 3,000, 4,000. Swazi's gonna body bag you. Are you gonna debate no, Swazi? Tom, Tom Swazi, we booted his ass out of our district, I think a few years ago. I forget what, he, he was something. Yeah. 
Tom Swazi is an empty oh. suit, lightweight cop Yo, who needs to go. Mayor of Glencoe. He's just oh, been working for lobbyists at Washington. I'm gonna dig for some stuff on uh, Tom Swazi. Okay. I'm gonna get some the My Mom's Basement I'm, I'm Army. People don't Australian see a lot. You know, we work in the shadows. We'll find some dirt on this guy. He didn't report 31 stock transactions for up to $885,000. And another, two other ones too. He's a fucking criminal. Tom Swazi lied about stocks. He lied about stocks, Bill. You gotta get for that. I went to high school with Tom Swazi, so. He's running against my high school friend's dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Joe Swazi's dad. <laughs> what was he saying now? <laughs> well, he was just pitching this whole thing and it all sounded nice, and then I was like, Billy, how's he think he looks for your campaign that you're sitting next to me in a Jeff Epstein chair? And he was like, oh, fuck! <laughs> and then we just unraveled the whole thing. Does anyone here live in New York District 3? Do you live in New York District 3, my dear? If I could vote, I would vote for you a billion times. Thanks, dude. Let's go, man. Anyone here live in New York's 3rd congressional district? What's up? Can you vote for Billy? Next year, uh, I don't know if we can make it. Wednesday night? No. Tom Swazi is a fucking corrupt career politician, and Billy Football is gonna take him down. He's young, he represents the youth, he represents the voiceless. My district is falling the fuck apart, and Billy Football is gonna save the day. Any Long Island residents here? So you're in, yeah. Yes, I'm in that bottom left corner. Boom! And you're registered? Yes. We got another signature, guys. If you could please date, date and sign. Frank, would you vote for Billy if you could? Ah, uh, yes, I would. Okay. Unfortunately, he if, if he uh, came to my district, uh, Montclair's my district, and uh, they had a flash poll. They said that uh, the, uh, Mao Zedong is the hero of uh, the 90% of people in the, in our district. They said that they would vote for Mao Zedong over uh, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. They said that Mao Zedong, they said that they said that worship of Mao should be everything out, and they, they said the new national anthem should be. Uh, it's a gift to be simple, it's a gift to be free, it's a gift to be, have nothing encompassing me. The only possession I have is my labor and the sweat on my brow as I worship the man named Mao. Phil, Phil, what town do you live in? Meek Phil doesn't know where he lives on a map. No, and I've never read the point where Howard Beach is on a fucking... You don't, like, map. learn about in school, like, where you live, then you zoom out? Like, you have no... No, I, that, that's never happened to me before. So you don't know which way's north when you're, like... No, I don't have a fucking compass when I'm in my bed! I don't want to be doing this. But I have to. Because we're getting fucking sent down the river. So, I mean, like, you wake up at 5 a.m. to, like, go for a run and work out. You don't really want to do that. That's the same attitude towards running for Congress. I don't want to do this. I have to for my generation, for the country, because it's a shit show. Out here, back in New York 63 at uh, North Shore Farms, still trying to get signatures. It's been raining all day. We've been grinding, trying to get signatures. If you're watching March Madness, you're at a bar with a bunch of registered Republicans, or if you're not registered Republicans and you register right now, I will come and get signatures straight from you. DM me your location, DM your address. Billy, was the 2020 election a legitimate result? Oh, good question. Mm. Guys, can we just talk about something else right now? That's, that's, a, simple, oh that's a simple God. question for Congress. Very, very simple question, Billy. I mean, I think, you know, Come on, guys, just give me a second here. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be having a press conference soon? You haven't really dug your heels in on any issue. You the, the biggest stance he's taken is for big government and more taxes a little bit nope, ago. Nope, nope, that's, that's not what I said. Kind of, oh, I just said we gotta just take a common sense approach. I also like the fact that you're going to be running in against George Santos. I like, that's, that's very admirable because um, as we've said, to beat a liar, you have to use a liar. And Billy is our own in-house, homegrown George Santos. This is no lab leak, George Santos. I'm gonna this be honest, I haven't produced. lied about anything close to what George Santos has lied about. But given the opportunity. Given the opportunity, I what, like, what, what, what would I lie about? You know, yeah, has Billy lied in the past? I guess, here and there, sure. But every politician does. So if, if anything, it's more points for his case. Common sense approach. Well, would that be? Uh, let me consult with my advisors and I will get back to you on a common sense approach. I've been grinding all day looking for signatures from Whitestone, Queens to now Farmingdale, Long Island. And uh, I need to get one last signature to make my day. And I saved the best stop for last.
Hey, Stewie! Stewie, how you doing? I'm doing amazing. How's that? What are you, what are you, what are you doing all dressed up in the suit? Stu, I'm running for Congress in New York's District 3, your Congress. I'm trying to be your representative in Congress, and I was wondering if you would sign here so that I can get on the ballot for this Republican primary. Wow, what an honor, Bill. Okay, where do I sign here? Just put your signature right here. Oh, this is awesome. All right, all you stoolies out there, Stu Nation, anyone that knows me, Democrats, I need you to change your allegiance to bet with Billy right now, to vote for Billy. All you Republicans, you're backing Billy anyway. Hey, Independents, let's go to Billy. It's Billy for Congressman. Look at this man. Trust this man with your life. I signed. Thank you. I'm a Republican and I'm your guy. It's an honor. Let's go. Ready to roll. 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 Well, well, Billy's going off. What's going on with you? Um, I'm at war on the internet with Caleb Williams. Oh. Yes. Breaking news. Caleb Williams just roasted Jack Mack on Twitter. Yeah. That's my quarterback. Pink phone is crazy, not going to lie. Your profile pic is crazy. Oh, oh, yes. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yo, is that real? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm a fan now. Oh, that's going to go crazy. Oh, fuck yes. That's my quarterback. <laughs> but is that a sign of mental toughness or weakness? Ooh. He attacked me. He called my profile picture crazy, whatever. So I'm going to do a video, but I'm going to go get some pink nail polish right now. Uh, would you want your NFL quarterback? To have a pink phone case and uh, pink and have his nails painted. Oh no. Okay. So I pointed that out. Okay. He responded to me. He said, "I said that <laughs> that phone case or that the pink phone case is crazy. Not gonna lie." Then he responded to me, "Your profile picture is crazy. Not gonna lie." Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, what you looking like in your profile pic? That's the question. No, he's he, he, great response. Like respect to him. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make a joke out of it and go get some pink nail polish right now. You don't have any, right? You don't have all this fucking pink nail okay, polish. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Caleb Williams. Did you see? He, Caleb he's Williams. tweeting at me. You just want to go to the Bears? Yeah, he, he just wants to tweet at me the whole time with his pink phone case. <laughs> <laughs> And the Bears decided to draft J.J. McCarthy. Yes, yes. <laughs> it, it was, after I told them, I realized it was going to be way too hard to explain the whole situation. Yeah. Because he would have been like, well, what's wrong with your profile picture? I'd be like, he's calling me ugly. He'd be like, oh, okay. And then he'd just go upstairs. I don't really know where to look. <laughs> oh, this has got to be, right? Long lasting nail polish, perfect. I'm getting light pink. Also, I just want to, before I do any of this, this premeditated pause, okay? Before any of this, I pause. Like, this is like just jokes. I, I need to get nail polish for moving, too. Would be the best one to do it. I don't know. It's gonna sound weird, but could you paint my nails? <laughs> yes, I would love to. Wait, yay! This is so exciting. Where'd you get nail polish? Oh, the one you're eating. Oh my god. <laughs> I just looked. I hit it. She's doing a great job, but I mean, hopefully this works. Did you ever paint your nails? No. You <laughs> just. What would that be? No, no, no. Don't, don't ruin <laughs> nah, it. Nah, this is fake news, what you're about to do. No, don't tweet it out yet. You can, after I release, you can do whatever you want. Look at his fucking gross ass hands. Why are you doing that, Jack? He's, um, I'm gonna do a video. How's that? Buka, send me this, like, me, this person who I muted tweet to me. 
That's very me. Looks like a greasy Midwest meth head who eats spam and frozen TV like dinner. And he goes, thought this would make you laugh, LOL. <laughs> you were the king of interaction, brother. Ha <laughs> ha, what, bro? I don't wanna see that. This was an account I already had muted. Why would that make you laugh? Okay. Not my best work, but. I think it'll do. <clears throat> my name's Jack Mack, and today Caleb Williams roasted me on Twitter. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. No, I messed up my nail polish a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be on my pants. Yeah. Don't worry. I don't, no, I'm not checking you out, but I don't see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good pause. What do you do now with the nail polish, by the way? So I think it's fitting to at least do the blog and the, the video, like editing it with it on. It's only fitting. Um, then I'll, <laughs> we got the alcohol remover. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean. Um, at least when you when you send the video out, you gotta have it on, right? Yes, that's what I mean. Yeah, like it's like you can't take it. Like I, I can't be a fraud. Um, but yeah, <laughs> thanks Caleb. Oh, that looks good. It's comfortable in his masculinity. To the guy on Duke does it. Yeah, Jared McCain. Yeah. Yeah, we're back. First day, boss was back off the bus. Uh, we're gonna talk about him becoming a butler, but also I kind of want to really hear about the insight into Duke's crying because that was just ridiculous. Like, motherfucker <laughs> went four inches deep into his eyes. Insane. <laughs> I was trying to stop it. Like I was What's to, like, so funny is when you come up for you come up for air and you still go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that was so sick. Oh, like, that was unbelievable. What was how drunk were you? Wasted. I mean, yeah. Wasted. We're not saying is yeah, Wasted. 20 and I was years also like on like being, being like back Rally, at Rally college for it. I was like, wow, that's sick. Like oh, I never had that. Like, I never had that at college. I was like, wow, that was so cool. I like. I didn't realize you guys were the one seed the year you got. Dude, that bowl was like. Yeah, it changed. I mean, also like. I mean, I, responsibly being still, like hammered, like. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't change I my mean, opinion on this. Yeah, I, also, I didn't have that on my bingo card for the day. Like, <laughs> like, if I was in the cave, I wouldn't have cried. It was like yeah. being drunk. Definitely I will helped. say that is just one of those awesome moments that you didn't see coming in barstool history. That like that moment, we just cried. like we'll remember. We are a crying company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. are a crying when I was reading too back, much. When I was reading back, I saw that. I was crying. Was yeah, like, yeah, they so were doing funny. like the Mount Rushmore was like you. Riggs at Pinehurst, Billy Football crying with the African football guys, <laughs> Jeff D. Lowe. Jeff D. Lowe at the dozen, and then the fifth one was uh, Steve 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 Che crying at Survivor was a little bit much. A little bit much. A little bit much. I, but see, those but I don't think I don't think. Are that, you a crier typically? No. Oh, did you hear his quote? He goes, "I'm not a big sports crier." <laughs> Bro, you <laughs> literally were just crying about sports. Like the face of it now. I don't. You're it's the face crazy. Of I don't even cry when mean, people now. die. When people die, I'm just like. <laughs> Life. <laughs> when, yeah. But when a seven beats a ten, baby, watch out. Yes, yes. One four four run to end it. I gotta cry. Against the bottom. <laughs> Have you ever seen a second chance at life? Like, that's what I, that's what I got. The fashion that we had in my senior season, and then to be back on campus for one of the best comebacks I've ever seen in Dayton history, and to see the bar erupt like that. I didn't plan on crying. I didn't plan on crying in a round of sixty four game. But I don't expect other people to get it. People don't understand my obsession with dating basketball. Like, it does affect my mood. I've been waiting for this moment, for a tournament moment since I stepped on campus. I live and die with this team. It was great, and I, and I, I don't have one single regret. I don't. I don't expect people to understand it. You're the first winner of the bracket buster. I know. Dating busters. How do you feel? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm, I just have to admit, split the money with Trish, but I do have to remain a low profile because I have to be in the witness protection program. I don't want any creepy old relatives coming out asking for money, okay? <laughs> Big win. It's crazy. I mean, it's just like one of these things where, like, if you know sports, you know sports, you know? Like, a lot of people don't in these walls, but for me, it's just something that's kind of always come naturally. So it's like 40000 like, is it a lot? Like, for me, no, because I'm really wealthy, but... I mean, it's good to finally beat out all these breeder fucks in here. God forbid Hubs won again, I would have put a bullet in my head. <laughs> sure, Caroline, you could borrow some money. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I really do need some. I didn't know. I didn't know you 
outright won already. Huh? You like your last team standing? Yeah, bro. It's all strategy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start a show called. What's up? Congratulations. <laughs> I got your present. Are you so excited? You got me a present. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like finally get the rush of gambling. Like that's really fun if you win gambling. And we didn't have to do anything. <laughs> John, would you suck my dick for 40 grand? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you stay and laugh long enough at that? That seemed like a real awful. <laughs> who, who can I prove you? That was so disrespectful. Like, you didn't even like wait to hear the answer. Like, you're gonna suck my day for 40 grand, poor bitch. <laughs> 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 I am gonna spend the money on hookers. So we're gonna see. Yo, we haven't even, the check hasn't even cleared yet and he went out and bought alligator boots. Uh, why, why? Go to gaysgamble.com right now for more information. <laughs> Should we change our website to gaysgamble.com? You, you just bought these? <laughs> yeah. Premium ostrich, two payments, new boot goofing. <laughs> you know, that's the glory of uh, Dave and Busters. Um, because it, it, it was a lot of fun. The only thing is, Pat and Joey won. Yeah, I, I, knew, I knew I was in trouble <laughs> when I realized that Colorado had to play uh, Marquette from the big beast. Through the big beast, 6-0 <laughs> and oh in the NCAA tournament. All three teams that got in are in the Sweet 16. Should have gotten more. I mean, uh, what? How many, how many Mount West teams are left? One. One. And then guess who they're playing? A big beast team. Oh, they are done. <laughs> the big beast. That's right. I think, what is it? The big beast can have three teams in the final four. They did one year. No, I know, I know. I'm, I'm saying, I think this year. Like, Anything. from a bracket perspective. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the problem is, you know what my favorite pitch is? I know it's, I know my fast pitch is probably not good. This is my favorite pitch to throw. Let's go. See it. <laughs> Ooh. By the way, that, that, that was a knuckle ball. Ooh! <laughs> 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 Keep that, Frank. Right? Yeah, you got nothing over there.